um, maintain set pressure, a lot, lots of high damaging combos. Like, also and something Boyd may not even get the opportunity to use Arsene. Yeah. You know, like. Also, something we've seen out of um, Esam is that he's extremely good at getting tether recoveries. We've seen what he's been able to do to IV stores when they try to recover with that. Um, so yeah. it's very much along the same blueprint, and yes. I, we don't know if he'll commit to it. But we're already seeing it. We're going to see the Pikachu versus the Pichu. Who is the stronger Chu? Uh, we'll find out in a moment. Esam will tell you that it is uh, Pikachu. That Pikachu is in fact the better Pichu, according to him. So. Esam. As in every game, been one of the most confident people in their mains. And you know what? You got to have that confidence yeah. uh, if you want to compete. Like, you, you don't get to this with level that. without having that kind of confidence, yeah. for sure. But also, you don't get to this level with a type, without uh, something special about your play. And Void being one of the greatest freestylers when it comes to uh, playing this game in terms of combos. Because this game doesn't have the same type of true combos you'll see like on the other side of things between, uh, say, a Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Fighters, anything like that. It's completely different. You have to find your reads. Void makes it look like they're all true every time. Yeah, a very creative player, in fact. And we're going to get game one started on Smashville. Both of them going for the potential cancels off the center platform, not really needing too far to box away, and uh, not having to come into zoning on, say, PS2. All right, the up air into the forward air coming out from Void, already uh, racking up a substantial amount of damage, but that may not matter much. Esam definitely has the combos of his own to make up for it. Mm -hmm. And with the fact that in the long oh. game, if either one of them struggles to track down that kill, Void will slowly put on damage himself, so Esam gets to play the long game while also taking Void to town on the fact that he needs to commit to those kills. All right, here's a grab for Void. Toss him right back off stage. Charging that F smash and he successfully finds it. Somehow just knew that Esam would yeah. recover high. Right, you know, Void read that book a few weeks ago. Like he was staring at that ledge like, mm, I'm calculating. All right, download. That forward smash is coming in and closing it out. Catching him trying to recover a little too high. Dash attacks, not gonna kill him just yet. Good, di good DI coming in from Void. And both of them can commit so far off stage to be able to try and go for these edge guards because of those quick attacks or agility. Yeah, I mean, and you can see uh, Void actually going for that F smash once again. Esam successfully going over it that time. Uh, but it, it's interesting because that forward smash is gonna be a really like catch all option in a lot of situations. Um, so Esam definitely made the right choice of recovering high, but just didn't get the right angle he needed. Yep. And something for Esim as well is that eventually that up throw will be able to kill, so he was finally able to put himself on the board. Giving up a little bit of stage positioning here, but it's okay because he was able to get by Void. Still being great in the corner of that roll read from Void, charging it now about a whole second before he went for it. That was a great call from Void. Okay, here's a grab from Void. This is going to be a lot of damage, especially on the platform. He gets the extension with the forward air. Esam off stage. There's that forward smash again. And not gonna kill. So strong though. Like and the fact that he keeps putting his head or like catching him at that two frame with that forward smash, it's it's working so well for him right now. Esam's gotta find another way around this. Okay, beautiful landing with Ooh. the neutral air, and he was able to get a platform combo into the up smash. Not enough to take the stock from Void. Yeah, fortunately for Esam, not enough percent just yet, but he's gonna get the punish out of shield that up smash. Still not gonna kill him though. There we go, finally gets the, the Thunder Joel into the Nair, into that up smash. He needed that big time because he's looking at such a huge deficit. 123, practically unanswered here. Esam catching up back here. Void just using agility to get back center stage. And now at this point too, Void can just throw out those F-tilts and take a potential trade. It's like, it's fine. Anything you hit me with, you're probably going to die instead. I'm perfectly content with taking some of this damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta be perfect on that. We've already seen it multiple the times. Alpha not gonna kill, but he goes immediately after there to get that thunder. And Void gonna take the first stock. Uh, first game, excuse me. Now, nah, really great read on Esam's DI. Don't, going for the up throw and immediately running forward to get the thunder conversion. And mm -hmm. that's such a strong move. I mean, from the position he was at, he doesn't even need to be like. It, did, it didn't matter which way he was mm -hmm. facing. Of course, the Thunder will send in the direction that Pikachu is yep. facing. The window of opportunity is smaller at that higher percent, yeah. too. And you saw Void react immediately to that DI without hesitation to close that out. Uh, seeing ACM uh, always with a smile, even after a loss. Never really uh, wanted to be too stressed about something after it has happened. But Void 
so consistent. Well, we've already seen the Stone Cold Killer face from Genesis. Oh, yeah. A little bit more stoic right now, not really seeming too stressed. But I wouldn't be after the way that first game went. Yeah, Dark Void. Dark Void doesn't come out to play until, <laughs> they, you know, these are dire circumstances. Mm -hmm. so. Let's see, I, if anything, I do believe in Esam's capability of putting Void into that mind space. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's see if he's able to put himself on the board here in game number two on Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, often to go to PS2 to give himself a little bit more room to work with. I think he wants those extra escape routes after we saw what happened to him in the last game. He couldn't yeah. get away from Void. But this time, Esam's the one putting in the work, wrecking on his damage so fast off of those strings. Yeah, looking like he's not really going to make you much use of those escape routes, as you mentioned. At least not just yet. Those uh, routes being the platforms. He's going to be able to recover to the platform, if, if, whether he's on the ledge or off stage, which is going to help him out a bit. Yeah, I like the fact that ECM's trying to read the potential early jumps out of Void now, but throwing out the down smash on the cross-up attempt, that was really good call on his part. He seems to be adjusting a little bit to the pressure that he's doing. Uh-oh. All right, lots of uh, percentage coming out for Esam with a Thunder Jolt, and he catches a downer at a disadvantage. All righty then, now, you know, Gage, you gotta just throw it out there, and that Thunder going to the right, luckily for Esam, not gonna die. And he catches him yet again. If you're not perfect on where you're going, you're going to die, and that forward smash is gonna take that stock yet again. Yeah, Void pretty much taking absolutely no percent right here. In fact, taking the lead with that conversion, 34% already on Esam. That's the swiftness in this matchup. It's like we can never really be comfortable ever. But now Lightning Loops as well. But good uh, call from Void just holding in and able to get himself out of there. There's a forward air from Esam again going for these Thunder Jolt edge guards. Just apply safe pressure. And he fell Whoa. out of it too, but crosses, gets the follow up as well from the frame chat. But good tech from Void, not going to die. Boy, turning the tides around. There's that forward smash attempt yet again. Hard punish. He's, no, he's opting just to go for stage positioning. Try and read a potential early gimp. Oh, he goes for the lightning loop Whoa. into the back air after that was so clean from Void. Gonna give himself the lead yet again. Absolutely brilliant play coming out from Void. Let's see if Esam could bring it back. Applying pressure with these jabs. Doesn't really do too much except force your opponent in shield. Yeah, if you're stuck at the ledge, it's such a good option, but being on a platform like that, eventually you're gonna get pushed back, and Void uh, was able to get out of there, but you see Void also now reciprocating to what Esam was doing, but he's gonna get called out again, being on stage. Those down smashes are working really well for uh, Esam so far. Yeah, so far securing two out of two stocks. Uh, taking quite a bit of percent though, 74 Void again at the ledge. That's where he is the strongest. That forward mm -hmm. smash has found him so so much success, whether it's just Ooh. applying pressure and forcing Esam into bad situations or taking those KOs out. We're talking about freestyle combos that Void was doing, but Esam's got them in his pocket too. Ooh. Not gonna get the two frame at the ledge with that F smash. Uh, what a ballsy recovery from Void. Getting up with the perfect timing and he catches a down smash from center stage. Killing off the left and top hand side of the blast. Zone. Like, all right, I see all these down smashes you're doing on my cross up attempts. Let me do the same. I see you're going to land directly on top of me. No up smash for you. It's going to linger, and he's going to get that nice, comfortable 2 0 lead currently on Esim. It's crazy, man. I mean, they're two different characters, but it may as well be a mirror match. It's you know what? This Pichu the Pichu's holding Evil Light, man. That, that's what's going on here. Esim didn't go in with uh, any items, not prepared. Does I have an item held on the, that Pikachu? Just trying to play with the basic moveset and no, Void's a competitive. Actually, there was a recent Pokemon World Championship they just had in Europe over this past weekend. Oh yeah, yeah we'll watch that. But right now we are watching another Pokemon battle going on. We we'll see potentially some uh, a change from Esim. He's thinking about he's thinking about Snake. He might go. I look at Pound. MVD and Esam, we're talking about how abysmal this matchup is for, P yeah. for a Pichu. Esam not confident enough in it. He's like, you know what? I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm going to try it out just yet. Yeah, absolutely. That first game didn't go too bad for them after all. Excuse me. That second game didn't go too bad for them after all. Yeah, it was a lot closer, but Void was able to close it out yet again. Let's see if he can make the adjustments. That grounded hitbox is going to save him from getting punished on the parry. Trying to go for the early call on that agility there to get the down air, but not going to get it. Right. Both players kind of dancing around each other's shields, getting these outer shield punishes. As calculated as both of them are, that, that whole sequence looks like a, let me just keep throwing it out till you die, and he's yeah. going to finally get himself on that thunder. Going to give himself a nice, comfortable lead. And, I mean, this is what I was talking about. I mean, we just saw the conversion that... Uh, <gasps> 
Oh, Esam had on Void to get that first KO. Mm -hmm. It was the same conversion that we see Void get on Esam mm -hmm. in the first two games. So it, it's a mirror match in every sense. Uh, they, they can really steal each other's options and kind of see like, well, if, if you're doing that, you're not going to expect me yes. to hit you with the same thing. Oh, and he's going to get him with the F-Smash at the ledge, but he's not going to die as well. Esam could have definitely used that. Esam committing to going off stage And funny Commando, Commando committing, committing to the $30 donation. Thank you so much, Commando, giving us that extra money towards this overall donation pool and all of these great donations going to the charity event around here. So we can continue to watch Esam and Void try and figure out who's the greater of these two. Esam get it. Was that? Wait, hold on. Who died? That was Esam that died to that spike. Uh, Void still hanging on to this stock right here. <gasps> oh, oh, I liked Void's idea there. After getting what the F to, he's like, all right, you see, I'm probably gonna dig low. Let me go see if I can steal this stock quick. Yeah, but he wasn't able to get it. Recovering high, using that side special to get back to center stage. There's a grab. You Ooh. see. ECM's kind of adjusting a little bit to the aggressive play from Void. He's been sitting back, getting a lot more grabs out of shield. Void can go dash attack into Thunder to try and catch ECM coming in a little bit too quick. All right, good out having the right call. Opt in the air dodge back in center stage, but still gets stage positioning out of it. Trying to read a roll there. Oh, okay, jumping over Esam, landing on him with the down air. And rising <laughs> with the back air was a great call from Void. Not get, I'm pretty sure Esam wasn't prepared because Thunder Fury is going to give us a $10 donation. We got plenty of Thunder Fury going on right now. That nair into up smash. That up smash. Put him on board. That was for you, Thunder Fury. And Esam actually put himself on the board with it. So if you want to continue to see Esam get these Ws in this set, please go down to the shop. Get yourself some merch. Mm -hmm. All the proceeds will go to the program, support the programs that Goodwill of Orange County has. Uh, definitely supporting the cause, helping us create Goodwill and get Goodwill. And if you are a fan of continuing to watch P2P put in that work, go ahead and continue to note as well so we can get some more of these unlocked events, such as the crew battle between the invited and non-invited pro players, as well as Squad Strike and Company later on. We have a lot of great things going for you here at this tournament. Game number four on FD. What do you think? I mean, I like the way Esam's playing. He's definitely playing with the fire right now, but Void, again, playing the... Similar character, he's going to be able to like, adapt to his options a lot, a little bit more quickly. Yeah, while the moves may not be completely the yeah. same, the blueprint is very similar in exactly. that regard. And both of them playing it really well. Like, they've been going for a lot of same options. But then we have these scramble situations where normally Void has been the one to come out on top. Esam has been the one that's been taking it over over these past few games. Oh, and we got yet another dono coming in here. We appreciate that nod because we got another $10 coming in from INT Paladin. Thank you so much for continuing to donate to this overall pot. We appreciate every single dollar that goes towards the charity re research that goes for all of the veterans in the area and those who are with physical disabilities. Thank you so much. And Void really making work of Esam so far, but Esam trying to bring it back, getting a jab lock. And continuing, continuing the to frame trap yeah. on him. All he's looking to this pressure he's establishing, but getting the cross up air into Abto. Void's gonna take the stock. Void, all, all Void needed was just one opening. He found that opening and cleared that stock right up. Here comes big damage. He was unable to connect his loot. <gasps> Man, just went for Skull Bash and nice. it worked. That was a good call. Opting to just uh, stay on the Thunder Jolt to getting him with the F Smash on the ledge. ECM is completely shifting some momentum as we see absolute. Absolutely, Absolutely necessary. necessary. It's watching these body, but this body and coming in for that $5 donation. Thank you so much. Appreciate every little bit of support towards the programs here of Goodwill of Orange County. Be sure to check out the shop and continue donating. We're going to reach those incentive goals. And ACM able to air dodge through that thunder. Going to establish himself some pressure there. He knew exactly where he was going, but he doesn't get the grab. Now he's going to be forced back off stage yet again. What's void option? He's just going to let him back through. Oh, down smash. Potentially a hard punish there. Down tilt into back air. We've already saw before he dragged down into the F tilt. Smash at the ledge, he's not gonna get him. Ooh, up smash out of shield from Esam. I like the call from Esam as well because we've talked about these scrambles between the two, and Esam has been relatively the one coming out on top over these past few games. That up smash call, another confidence move from him. Okay, down air from Void securing that stock. It's still comfortable for ECM here. Void finally able to take himself on the board. And we've seen Void delete stocks very quickly, many times over. But at 135%, a raw hit, such as an up air yeah. or maybe a dash attack that, call, that, can that kill. That next upper will definitely be the kill, but the upper will do it. And ESAM 10. ESAM 010? Uh, ESAM 010. $5. 10 or Joe? I can't. 
We have a little bit of a cutoff on the bottom there. ECM yeah, 10. Yeah, ECM 10. 10. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating. Watching ECM run this back <laughs> with uh, the crew. <laughs> he has that look like, <laughs> how am I running this back how right did, now? How did I do this? How did I do this? I'm kind of nice. It's because the donations, man. The donations are making it happen. He may not have seen the donations happening, but he is definitely feeling it in his gameplay. So please continue to head over to the shop, hit like, that donate button. I feel like ECM's wall, you know, he's versed in his environment. He yeah. sees everything going on. That big old screen above us watching those donations coming in from Griff for another $10 donation. Thank you so much for continuing to contribute. We have a donation steamroll going on here. Keep this donation train going as we continue to climb towards 5,000. Thank you so much for every dollar that's yeah. spent towards this. Maybe we could get to 4,200 before the end of this set. I think we can have I it. I think we absolutely we got can. got a game five man if you like a game five between two really talented players let's get those donations in there yeah, we're continuing to climb as well as this climbing of this ladder coming in from ECM racking up that damage going for a potential dare both of them going for thunder getting himself back there's a down throw from ESAM he's gonna catch an up air and, and here we go the, the shelfables, shelfables with a ten dollar donation we're less than ten away eight dollars more you guys keep it coming and go get ourselves to 4,200. We are climbing so fast because of this donation trade. Thank you so much for every single contribution. And right now we're seeing ESAM trying to find his way back into center stage, being buried in the corner. Void, currently 2-2. Two to two. That back here could potentially take the sock, but great DI from ESAM there. Going to keep himself alive. Uh, prolonging his life just a little bit longer, rolling off of the ledge. Oh, okay. Void catching the parry and an F-tilt out of shield immediately catching that punish. And knew he knew ECM wanted to go for a potential kill confirm yeah. there too. Short hop tomahawking with that Nair, parrying it just in time. And we're also going to see Sherry Genix giving us another $20 donation going up above 4217. Smashing Thank that so goal, much. man. We accomplished what we started. Let's see if we can keep it going higher. We want to climb, much like the Freak Flyer mile numbers that Void is currently <laughs> obtaining right now, but he's going to keep himself alive. Okay, up throw from Esam. That's just gonna kill outright. With uh, Pichu being such a light character, it's definitely gonna be a kill option on that uh, uh, for Esam. Yeah, being able to commit to something like that, much like giving Esam energy, that $5. Oh, we wanna oh. see Esam win coming in from these donations there. He wants to see him take it over with the Pikachu over the Pichu. The way he's playing right now, potentially can. This is such a close match between them. Void catching all these up airs, amounting a, quite a decent amount of ma damage, and the empty landing into the grab. Netting him even more. All potentially trying to go for a reversal there. Immediately running with that quick attack to try and punish the Skull Bash, but he doesn't get him. You see Esam throwing out these fake options, throwing out Dare to potentially bait a jump, but he avoid not pulling the trigger early. He knows because he does the same thing. Yo, catching the forward smash. Void nearly done for on that stock. Void going for the cross up fair, gonna give himself position. Oh, I like the fact that Esam went to the other side, but. He's gonna get down tilt to Baron. That's gonna put himself at a point where he's on his last stock. But Jester giving us yet another $10 donation. Thank you so much. We're climbing almost at 4,300 that fast. Thank you so much. Okay, boy, getting in. Kayla, I to get something we can't see it. The, the, but uh, thank you so much, Nua, for that $15. Cut there. off at the bottom here. This is cutting us off. We will get that fixed for you momentarily. Meanwhile, Void fixing this deficit he's looking at and taking the lead. Currently looking at last stock, and now we can see all the donations. Things are clear. Life is clear. The sunshine coming Broski in for Broski with another 10. Yo, thank you, bro. We appreciate you. That $10 is coming in for the donations to all of our uh, Charity Relief Association we have going on over here. Thank you so much. And we're down to the wire here. Last stocks for both players in this game five. Void threatening with that forward smash. He's going to get a grab. E7 in a really bad spot. There's another grab in Rivals ESS with a $5 donation. Yeah, Shout out to SoCal. The rivals between these two. Who is the better, Pikachu <coughs> or Pichu? Both of them trying to find out that right now. Esam currently looking at a deficit. Dash attack not going to kill. But the Blue Legend is going to provide us with a little bit more life with that $10 donation. Thank you once again. Continuing this donation train we have going right now. Down tilt to back here is not going to kill. Esam's still alive. That's the second time Void's gone for that donation. And let's go Void with a $20 let's go Void. donation. $20. He wants to see him close it out. But Esam not trying to allow that to happen. Up throw. What's the call out? Gets him with only a little bit of hit of that fair. Esam holding shield. Buried at the ledge. Who's going to get hit by the dare? And Diz tens with a $21 donation at the very tail end of that set. We will talk about those donations. The, the Let's Go ECM Energy yeah. allowed him to make that comeback, but finally at the very end, holding off just in time to for the Let's Go Void to give him that extra oomph 
Boy taking it 3-2 over ECM. What an, an another excellently fought set going all the way to game five. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, really fun to watch. And let's go, Gachi Let's go, Gachi Kun, which is going on donation. on that side right over there. We have Street Fighter going on on the main stage that's currently in top eight. So if you're not currently watching both 2GG and Level Up Live, make sure you do so so you can see everything going on on that side as well. Absolutely, man. And I got to say, I'm really proud of you guys. Thanks for everyone for tuning in for this tournament. And we've smashed that goal. I said we could reach 4,200, and I think we surpassed that by a landslide. Yeah, I think so. before our block is even up, we can definitely surpass that $5,000. Oh, but we yeah. have a lot of times to left in the day. And every single bit that you continue to donate for one unlocks more events for two. goes to such great causes. Again, what we said, Veterans Relief and all of the other great programs they have in the physical therapy research. And we get to get more of that because the Banana Woo! Claw is coming in with that $50 donation, Huge. continuing to contribute. Thank Huge. you so much for every single penny.